Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog a day and today is Sunday the 30th and today was a lovely day outside to be alive. It was, um, it rained most of the day off and on. Uh, a couple parts it rained like hell at. Um, got this morning, got a few things done. Kind of messed around here at the house a little bit and I was really sore. I ironically took a fall Saturday over at the Sedell house and in the process of cleaning the place up, I was sitting on a stool and the stool broke and I hit the ground hard and threw some stuff out. My shoulder, back, neck, all that just kind of took a tweak on me. So I have like red like bruise marks on my ass where I hit the ground so hard. It really sucked on that stool. So not a fun part there. So I woke up sore, uh, went ahead and got a couple things done, nothing major. Decided I was going to go for a little bit of kayaking with Karen. I thought we'll take the kayaks out a little bit. And um, went to load them up, went to get the keys out and stuff to unlock them from the um, trailer. And it was sprinkling. I was like, yeah, it's trying to rain. I'm like, out of hell. It's like, I those honed it a little bit. I got to think about it, I'm like, it's just sprinkling. It's going to sprinkle all damn day. And if I don't load them up and I don't go and it doesn't rain, I'm going to be pissed. And if I do go and it does rain like hell, oh, well, at least we tried kind of thing. I'm like, what? No big deal. So I went ahead, said to heck with it. Um, went ahead and loaded them up. Um, took out the little 10-footer to see if Karen liked it or not before I get rid of it. And if she likes it, we'll keep it. If she doesn't, we'll haul it off and get rid of it. So went out there on the way there, it sprinkled a little bit. And asked her, I said, if it keeps sprinkling like this, are you going to go or not? And she goes, yeah, I'll probably go. Almost it's not lightning and thundering. That's the big fear. It's lightning and thunder here. And Florida is a giant deal. So the land's just too flat and everybody is um, subject to getting hit by lightning. So went ahead, got over there, got unloaded and stuff. Um, forgot to move the trucks. I parked the truck like where the trailer's parked. I unloaded the kayaks and stuff. And I was going to move the truck and I forgot to move the truck. Just got in a hurry trying to clear the boat ramp for the other people with the boats and stuff. And didn't move the truck back, which landed me a damn parking ticket. Which is annoying as hell. Cause part of me is, and Karen's like, you got a boat, you got the kayaks, you're good. And I'm like, I don't think that's what it says. But went ahead and got a ticket and got back, which is flipping awesome. So one of those things, I could see also if it was super busy or if it was packed or if it was whatever. But it wasn't. There was like one third of the spots taken, if that. And it is what it is. So not really going to you know lose any sleep over it. But we took off, um, got in the kayaks, went out, paddled around a little bit. Went out the same spot I've been out before, but I went the opposite direction. Um, carriers were going along. We weren't probably, I don't know, 20 minutes into it maybe. And a guy in a boat um, was almost running Karen over. Like he saw me. She was trying to paddle around him, which I don't know why she does that. I'm like, you're in a kayak. He's in a boat. He can go around you easier. You just keep your path. Because in her trying to avoid him, he then turned and was heading right at her kind of thing. So I hollered at him and was like, hey, watch out. So the guy, you know, it's like, I couldn't tell if he said he saw her or didn't, or just once he did realize she was there, claimed he saw her. So he turned the way, so she headed back over towards me a little more. And it was all good. And we paddled around there a little bit, ended up going down, and it poured down right at one point. Like, it was so bad. We tried to hide underneath a boat dock. Um, didn't work. There was boat um, houses we should have hid underneath of instead, and Karen didn't want to go underneath those. So we ended up under the boat dock, which didn't help much. Tied her kayak to my kayak because she couldn't see. She was just hiding her head down, just running as hard as she couldn't see the damn thing. I had my glasses on, but I had my hat, and it was pulled down on my head real good. So I could still see decent, and I was just paddling out, kind of steering for her. So all she had to do was paddle, and mine was always pulling her back forward. And it was it was pedaled. It was tied up weird, so I retied it once the rain cut back a little bit. Then a little later, the rain cut out um, completely. We untied, paddled in. Had a great time, saw some dolphins, saw a family who just cut a stingray or off their dock, off the back of their house, which is pretty cool. Um, talked to them for a moment as we paddled by both directions. Saw some pink flamingos we'd never seen before. I'd never seen live pink flamingos outside of a zoo. That was pretty cool. Um, got back to the vehicles when I found I had the parking ticket, which was awesome. Got unloaded, everything went great. We played some tag. We play um, kayak tag where you have to like tag each other with your paddle or the boat banging into each other. And just, it's a way to um, kind of teach Karen how to steer better and how to aim better and how to like paddle real hard to get around situations. So it's a game that's an educational game at the same time. So had a great time with that, just out having a lot of fun. Um, got back here to the house, met up with, the, um, actually I went for my run, got our shower, got cleaned up and that. Um, went up going down to Mark's so Karen could do some paperwork, some accounting work. Um, went ahead and I dropped myself off at um, Manatee Park there in New Smyrna, had a cigar. And while I was having the cigar, I went ahead and she went to Mark's, came back. We came back to the house here, um, returned the dogs because uh, we had Bonnie and Clyde uh, today still. So we gave them back, talked to them for a little bit. Headed out to get our grocery shop done, grocery store, Walmart, that kind of thing. Went and got that stuff taken care of, came back home, and ended up making some just some frozen party pizzas. Because we were hoping we'd find something at the store, like on Clarence, that we wanted that was out of the hot case and nothing was there. So we ended up with party pizzas, which was fine. Chilled out a little bit, um, just talked about life and different things and the whole voluntary move-out agreement and whatnot we have to do with the house and what, everything. It's just a pain in the butt. So 
got through all that stuff and ended up chilling out, watching a little bit of Netflix. Uh, had Karen use the back massager thing on me, which is amazing. Oh my God, it feels so good. But it just, I need to get adjusted by a chiropractor. So uh, went ahead, um, got that done, crashed out, called it a night. So it was super cool. Oh, we did go get some um, frozen um, Frosties from Wendy's. They're 50 cents for the summer, so how can you beat it? But it is what it is. So anyway, that's all I got for now. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe, wonderful day. Thanks for watching.